What's happening, everybody? I'm Steve, and welcome back to Junk Drummer TV, where I give my initial reactions, my hot takes, my analysis on the drummers of today and yesterday, and maybe tomorrow if I stick around that long, I am a professional drum teacher and a gigging musician, which using the word musician might be stretching it a little bit, but I have been those things for the last 20 years. Today's episode is a classic reaction video, uh, because I don't know anything about this band either. This is Animals as Leaders featuring Matt Garska on drums. The only thing I know about this band is my metal band was on the road somewhere, and there was this music going on over the loud system, over the sound system, and it was just some drummer just murdering shit, and I was like, who is this? And my guitar player, Caleb, who I've talked about on the uh, channel before, looked at me disgusted, as he does all the time, and says, this is Animals as Leaders, dude, how do you not know this? Yet another band that I need to catch up on, and yes, commenters, I know, it's blasphemy that I don't know this band. There's just so much content in this world to take in. I mean, I haven't even finished all of Daredevil on Netflix, much less get to Animals as Leaders. So, before we get into it, uh, please feel free to like, comment, and share. Please give me a double tap on the subscription and the notification bell. And also, I have a PayPal option, link in the description, if you'd like to donate to the cause. So, let's check out Matt Garska of Animals as Leaders playing Tooth and Claw. Woo! Woo! So, no foreplay. Woo, let's get it in quick. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I always think of this kind of just over the top virtuoso playing as like. Music for musicians who wear capes. If, if, if like the Avengers played music, it would be like this. <laughs> Man, everybody's playing those Minels now. Seems like Minel is coming for Zildjian and Sabian's stuff. That's really cool. I haven't seen that before. That's kind of a new thing. A lot of this guy, this dude is obviously a fusion drummer. You know, I think uh, when people talk about this band, they kind of call them like a prog metal band, and they are. But there's a lot of fusion in this guy's playing. This thing he's doing right here, where he's uh, uh, doubling on the snare drum with the bass drum, that's an interesting thing. I've never really seen that before. It gives like that snare drum, like more oomph, more balls. Yeah, doubling that like that, that's cool. just looks like a nice boy. He doesn't look like a metal guy. He looks like an accountant. This guy definitely went to Berkeley or some other, you know, reputable vocational school for musicians. You kind of have to have that kind of education. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> little thing he did there that thing right there I think it was kind of a hurt to, uh, that's almost like a like a like a marching band tenor sweep thing this guy may have marched marching band as well he's doing a lot of where he's playing in triplets on the bass drum over top of his groove you know playing in two different meters sort of Without my calculator or my abacus, there's no way I'm going to be able to figure out all these odd times. Yeah, this dude never slept on a couch after getting kicked out of the house by his girlfriend. Man, we had to have that little breakdown right there. That first two minutes of that was... Damn, that's bringing out every trick in the book. This guy has all the tricks, obviously. Compositionally, you had to have this section right here. I'm sure it's not going to last long. There's no way this guy smokes weed and plays. There's just no possible way to remember all this shit. So we got we finally got something like a groove here. 
kind of reminds me of like Blake Richardson. I think I like Blake Richardson more, but again, this is the first two and a half minutes that I've really seen of this guy. This is a trio too, right? It's a power trio. Okay. Like a little, like kind of a hip hop groove right there. That's prog. Prog. Man, how do you write music like this? There has to be just a big blackboard. Or dry erase board. And they're just like, this idea to this idea and this idea. So something I just realized. I think this video will get monetized because I don't think the YouTube algorithm can keep up with this. I think animals as leaders can outplay the robots. Actually, like when the robots take over and they start taking all of our jobs and start making our art for us, I think this is what music will sound like. You know, he's got a lot of Dave Weckl in his playing. This, this band is kind of like if Chick Corea's electric band, like, like listen to Dream Theater and like Megadeth, I think. I'll tell you this. Tell you this, man. I'm gonna have to bring it back so we can see that drum fill right there. Uh, for the 95% of you mere mortals out there that are trying to get the gig, do not go to the audition room and play like this unless it's a band that's just like that. You will, like, you'll be the guy that all the people in the band talk about at the end of the whole audition process, and then you won't get the gig this is this is drumming for like <laughs> this is drumming for the one percent this is the one percenter drumming this is drumming that is that works for very few bands out there if you're looking to be a, a full-time worker and be able to do any kind of gig you can't go to nashville and do this but if you're into this style this is like the guy for this it seems like we're gonna uh, bring it back so we can see this crazy drum fill he's about to get about to do. Yeah, okay. And man, it's cool that a band like this, because my my guitar player went and saw them at like a theater, and you know, a band that's like this, that's so specialized, that's so not the mainstream has been able to yeah whoo uh, let me uh, finish that last thought uh, a band that's so unlike anything that is even conceivably seen as a as a popular form the fact that they are able to because my like i said my guitar player went and saw them at a theater and the fact that they can like play in you know 1500 2000 3000 seat theaters that's very very impressive man if you know anything about the music business and i've dealt with it a little bit for as much as someone that <clears throat> is not famous or a name i have dealt with the music business man right there you just have to be so good that you can't be denied that's actually a steve martin quote but it works here uh, there is like there's not a record label except unless it's like a fusion label man do those even exist anymore it's like man can we find the most over the top ocd ADHD kind of music and put that out there and just bring in the, the, the Brinks truck to make lots of money. There's no, like, there's nobody on that level that's looking for something like this. And the fact that Animals as Leaders and Matt Garska has been able to carve out this little niche for them and make a, a, a pretty decent living 
I'm sure, uh, doing this kind of stuff. You know, a drummer like this is going to always be asked to do modern drummer days, and they're going to always be asked to do clinics, so he has that on the side as well. That is, uh, man, that's good on you, animals as leaders, to, to find a way to be able to monetize this crazy music. It's insane. Uh, man, there's a lot that you can learn from him. Like I said, if you're the, the, the non-1% out there, you know, there's bits and pieces of that stuff that you would do in, like, a song. Like, one thing that he did there would be a thing that you would do in a song once. That's that's crazy. He's definitely a Berkeley guy. He's uh, indicative of uh, the generation that grew up with YouTube and the Internet with just infinite resources to study and make yourself better as a drummer. Man, not to be that old man to talk about back in the day. Man, when I, you know, I graduated in 95, uh, if you wanted to see, like, a, a drum video, you had to have a buddy, or you had to spend the twenty nine ninety five or whatever it was, probably 1995, to buy that VC Aura tape, and, like, watch that, and, you know, and then if your buddy had one, you'd go to his house and watch the one drum tape, you know, all you drummers now, uh, you're living in an age where, like, you have every lick and every study source material at your fingertips. And I'm glad a lot of my students haven't figured that out because some of them are good enough that they don't need me. A bunch of them do need me, but a few of them don't. So uh, a few enjoyed that. Man, it's Matt Garska, Animals of the Leasers. I think one of the things that I got out of this, uh, you know, seeing and really seeing what their music sounds like and the fact that I know the kind of places that they're able to pack, that's very impressive. That's That's just, you know, be so goddamn good that you can't be denied and that a crowd will find you. That's what I think I got out of the most out of this. On top of some of the most crazy over-the-top drumming that we've even seen on this channel, that might be the most over-the-top of any drummer that's been on here. Because even the Gavin Harrison episode, it was a song. It was him playing, you know, like a really nice, beautiful prog uh, rock style in a song setting. It's not really a song per se. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of parts that are an uh, excuse to play crazy, over-the-top music, virtuoso shit. So... If you enjoyed all that, please, again, feel free to like, comment, and share. Uh, feel free to please give me a double tap on the uh, subscription uh, and the notification bell. Uh, PayPal option, link in the description. And remember, keep practicing until it's easy.